Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be going through how you view 2D and 3D CAD files without having to install CAD software on your computer and it also works on Windows and Mac and any other um, PC. All you need is a browser and it's Autodesk Viewer. So I think this is a very good powerful tool for people that don't have CAD stuff, software installed on their computers oh, and it's also a powerful tool uh, for students and universities where you don't necessarily want to pay for any CAD software. So just to get started, all you need to do is go up to viewer.autodesk.com, um, set up a f sign up for free and set up an account and just click sign in and use your login details. Now you've signed in with your free account, you're presented with your design views page on your Autodesk Viewer and you've got your login at the top. You can click upload new file or you can just drag and drop like I'm going to. So the first example I'm going to uh, do is a DWG file. So I'm just going to literally drag and drop it off my desktop. And then it'll ask me, is there any other files linked to this DWG file? So if you've got multiple files, you can drag them in one at a time. Um, so you get the full model. In this case, there's no more files. So I'm going to click no more files. And it'll pro start processing it online and uploading. And once it's uploaded the file, what it'll do is start processing it. And if it's a really big file and it takes, say, 20, 30 minutes to process, well, they'll send you an email when it's done for you to view and you just click the link. So if you've not, so you just leave it, take a few moments. I'm going to speed this up on the video for the video. Um, but this will process and it'll come up on my design views. So now the DWG has been processed, the file will appear in your design views. I've also received an email, I've seen it pop up on my iPad. So if I click the gatehouse DWG, and this is a 2D drawing. So this is just looking top down on the with all the elements of the gatehouse. So on the view tab, you've got your views and it breaks down your model. So any 2D views will come up at the top and then you have your 3D views as well. So if I just click 3D view, if there's, it depends how the model's been set up, but this is the gatehouse 3D model. I can orbit pan can fit to screen, pan, so move about and orbit. I can also zoom in on certain sections and go first person as well. And then in the first person, you can use your keyboard to walk through, uh, go up and down, run, shift. So if I just go, okay, got it. And then just start pressing the keys, I can move around using the keyboard as well to zoom in and out, move about. If that's what you prefer, I'm gonna come out of first person because I prefer using the view cube. So I can just look at the front of the building by clicking front. Click the edges of the cube to go round and up. So like there, I've got lost in the model. So I can just pre press home and it'll send me back to the top. And I don't know exactly where I am. You can also do section views and actually view inside the gatehouse. Change the section, do the Z plane and go up and down as well. So to use the section tool, I'm clicking section, I'm clicking what plane I want the section to go through. And it's nice and easy, you use, the you use the circle to change the angle and then you use the arrows to drag where you want the section to be. If you'll let me. So you can change the depth of the section view as well. So that's really good for looking at um, inside buildings and looking at sections through 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 components and then the next one's measure nice and easy nice and simple it snaps to each corner and you can measure certain elements of the building and it gives you an xyz dimension so if i wanted to measure this slab it's as simple as distance there from there so just click the edge and then click the other edge so that slab's 10.6 meters same with angles as well. If you want to find the angle, click two points and then click another point, your third point, and it measures your angle as well. So calibrating is if you wanted to change the scale, but this is coming on a correct scale. You can also explode everything. So if I click explode, it explodes the entire building. And I think that's a really good tool if you've got a really complex model. You want to have a look around. So if I go to orbit now, get rid of my measures and explode it again. So there's no measuring dimensions. You can see every element of the gatehouse split up. 
and you can also mark up as well which I'll cover in a minute so that is the basic view tools for Autodesk Viewer so I'm just going to go back to home and just zoom out a little bit so each of these elements if you go to model browser have a name whether it's a sill wall or side or even objects like toilets and stuff so if I click on this object it zooms in on it so that's a bit of pipe work and then another bit of pipe work for the bathroom so if you need to interrogate your model you can literally type in what what wall you've got what number and it finds it and shows it you you can do it on glasses as well but when you actually click a wall for example and then I go to properties it'll give me no properties to display so I need to just click that so I've clicked on properties and then I've actually clicked the wall once I found it in the view and it gives me um, all my layers, sizes um, and any other inbuilt properties that are in the model. Obviously this is a basic model so it's not actually come up with any much but that if you wanted to find out more properties about the actual wall you do it there and then your settings are just your settings. So now I'm going to go back out the gatehouse. So everything I've done has been saved. And I'm going to open up a bit of a more complex model, which is an Autodesk uh, file, Navisworks file of Bath. So now I've loaded in and uploaded central Navisworks file. So that's the DWG file. This is a Navisworks file. You can also lo load in steps. I'll put a full a list of all the files you can upload into Autodesk Viewer at the bottom of the video in the bio. So if I click Central and load it up, that is the full Autodesk uh, model of Bath. And same again, if there's any custom view, so if I click Abbey, it'll show me the Abbey. If I go Default, that's just the default view, and then there's also a plan view. And there's also some sheets as well. And then if I go to model browser, same again. It's made up of multiple DWG files. So if I click that, that's center one one DWG. That's what drawing element that this apartment complex is. Same again, if I just go to center 16, this little building complex. So even if you're not a CAD expert or anything, it is very easy to interrogate the models using the views, the model browser, and the properties as well. So if I go to properties there, and just click. So that's just telling you what kind of geometry it is, where it's from, and the 3D face set. So same again, if this part of the model had any properties that I needed to take off of, that's where you'd take it off. You'd just literally click your DWG, center 16, and it'd come up in your properties with everything you need you can also do comments so i can add a comment to this view saying great view or something a bit more and then it will actually put my put my comment on this tree you can also do markups so if i do a markup there it takes a picture of what i'm looking at and goes um and i can put arrows and clouds text add road so you can also save that and do markups as well and then that puts that in the markup tree as well and the tools are exactly the same as the small gatehouse. Um, I'll just get rid of the comments. And the small gatehouse um, tools to view everything, pan, zoom, first person. You can even do measurements still, even on a file this big. So I just click two edges to measure. So that apartment complex is at nearly 90 meters long. You can do section views, same again. Just do planes. And then use the circles to rotate your section views. And same again. Let's see if, if I just get rid of my section view. It should let me explode the whole city. So I'll just go back to the full app, the full view. So if I go back to model browser and unhide everything. So I've gone back to the top level. And let's see if I can explode it. 
which I can. So it's like this is explored in the entire little model of Bath where you can select all the elements and shows you a breakdown of the entire model. I hope you found this little tutorial on how to use Autodesk Viewer helpful. If you have, uh, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.